Hey, nice to see you here. Glad to know that you're interested in Splunk VR. What is it you might ask? Splunk VR is a platform that allows you to see and experience data in 3D, enabling you to find insights faster than ever before. Want to see what this looks like in practice? Follow me. It's the start of a new day, and I've logged into Splunk VR to review what happened overnight. I'm a network analyst responsible for the health of my web servers. First thing I'm going to do is a round of all my dashboards. In Splunk VR, you have a virtual room where you can place all your dashboard panels and physically organize them. You can move in between different sections by teleporting or turning with a joystick. Splunk VR supports native Splunk visualizations, ranging from pie charts to line charts to tables. There's no need to make any sort of special changes to your panels to open them in VR. All you have to do is open them. Cluster maps in VR look a little different to their 2D counterparts. Rather than using size to denote the value of each point, we instead use height. The largest value at each point is shown above the column and color-coded, so you can compare values across the world quickly. This last visualization here exists only in VR. Streaming visualizations allow me to see my network and the information moving in between it. I can see both the status and volume of requests flowing in between entities. Here, I have a representation of users who make requests to web servers, an identity provider that authenticates those requests, a Redis machine for cache, and database machines. Whoa, there's a lot of red particles between the bottom web server and my users. Looks like there's a lot of failed requests. I'm gonna call on one of my teammates, Logan, so we can investigate this issue together. To do so, I'll start collaborating by hosting the room that I'm currently in. In the meantime, I'll zoom in and annotate the server that's having issues. Morning, what's the issue that's currently happening? I'm seeing a lot of errors with one of the servers. I've marked it out there with the arrow. The other three seem to be fine though. Hmm, that's strange. Let me check what kind of error it is. Hmm, looks like we're having a spike in 503 errors. Here, I'll drill down into the health of the servers. This one looks fine. This looks okay too. So does this one. Ah, looks like an overloaded CPU is our issue here. That worker process seems like it's overloading the CPU right now. Might be related to increased traffic. Let's go back and take a closer look at the network. Oh, if you look here, you can see the increased number of particles. That shows increased traffic to the server, and I think that's our issue. I can go and add a few more servers to handle the extra load while we investigate if this is a security issue or not. Thanks for letting me know about this. If you want to get started with Splunk VR, you'll need a compatible VR headset. Learn more about how to download it by following this link. To stay updated on Splunk VR feature announcements and news, scan this QR code to sign up for our newsletter. Thanks for watching this demo, and if you have any questions, feel free to email us at splunk-vr at splunk.com. Thanks guys, and I'll see you later.